Artificial intelligence is starting to find its first real-world applications. The latest is a robot lawyer that overturns parking tickets, 190,000 of them at last count. The product was designed not by a tech giant, but by a college kid, now one of the most heavily recruited engineers in America. Ravi Samaya went to meet him. We're outside the room of Josh Browder, who's 19 years old and studying computer science at Stanford University. We're going to go in and find out why he's one of the most in-demand coders in Silicon Valley. But we have to be kind of quiet because his roommate's still sleeping. Despite his modest workspace, Josh has received offers for money, jobs and help from virtually every bold-faced name in the tech industry. He has so far refused nearly all of them. Talk me through the process a bit. So you just, you came home, you had a parking ticket and you just thought, I can't do this anymore. Well, it turned out to be too many parking tickets to count, but... Um, How many, I, roughly? Uh, like, r more than a dozen. And so uh, I looked online at all these like dodgy laws to find out exactly how to get out of my tickets. I even measured um, one of the parking bays and found out it was legally too small. And it was, it was such a great feeling when I got out of that ticket. Soon everyone I knew was asking for help. And I thought, I can't help everyone individually, but I should create like a website. It's more than just a website. It uses artificial intelligence and a huge body of legal documentation to generate the perfect appeal by asking you just a handful of questions and all for free. It has huge potential for expansion, which has not gone unnoticed in hyper-competitive Silicon Valley. Top tech companies, tech entrepreneurs wanting to buy the website, but at the How moment- How much are they offering you? I can't like get into the specifics. At, um, are we talking thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions? Um, I, I think the top offer has been uh, quite high, but I, I don't really like to talk about it, you know. Would you be tempted to expand and become a full service, like, robot law firm? I mean, that's what I'm trying to do. For now, he remains obsessed with parking tickets, which particularly and genuinely make him angry. It's, it's a true disgrace. This guy um, paid legitimately for parking and then got a $71 fine. It's just a pure question of making money off motorists. Turn right onto Perk Street, then turn right onto Chestnut Street. Your hit rate's like 60% so far. Yes. And so San Francisco is pulling in 130 million in parking ticket and citation revenue. Yeah. So you're going to cut off a big chunk of that revenue. Does that worry you at all? In the short term, it might cut off the revenue, but I hopefully in the longer term, it will mean that the government raises the revenue how they should raise the revenue via taxes. It's really stressful. I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not the best at understanding when there are like three signs saying um, different things. And so I, out of necessity, I like had to become knowledgeable on how to fight these tickets. Getting closer. It's the gradual approach, I think it's good. Josh clearly has personal frustrations with parking, but the consensus is that artificial intelligence is likely to hit the law first. It is, as Josh points out, just an operating code for life. And computers are good at code. His robot lawyers have expanded to include getting compensation for delayed flights, and will also soon turn voice activated to help Arabic speaking refugees claim asylum in Britain. Josh has vast ambitions, but for now, he plans to roll out the parking tickets bot in cities across America, including San Francisco. And then I think let's get out of the car. 